Okay, this is New Star Radio 98.7 FM and Smooth Fuego TV, and we're joined here with... Amory. Now, nah, Amory, <laughs> let's go straight into your new single. As soon as I heard the single, you know, I'm just thinking about the Fresh Prince and doing that dance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, I did see it yesterday mm. because I, I know my uh, one of my best friends, she was telling me about that. And I was like, I don't remember. Maybe I saw the episode, but it didn't stick in my head oh, like okay. that. She's like, what, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, yeah, because I was, she was like, yeah, when you were performing the song, um, I looked out and some of the kids they, were doing, they were doing it. it. And I was like, oh, I saw it. last night I saw it. Yeah. yeah, it was hilarious. That's crazy because that's <laughs> that shows good t- more than ten, about twenty years old now. Yeah, people, people crazy that moment. So, uh, that's a good thing anyway. But now you're over here in the UK. Where have you been anywhere? I think you was in um, Plymouth or Cambridge or somewhere. Yes, I went to yeah. Cambridge. Oh, okay, um, I went to Cambridge and that was really a uh, you know great fun. Mm. Um, I actually performed there, I believe at. Cambridge University okay. um, years and years ago mm. um, so it was, it's great I love being in the UK I love being in London it's just like ah, you know, <laughs> I think it's going to rain today which it was I'm, raining I'm excited earlier. about it's we, in LA we never get any rain I'll see excited about the rain because we never get any rain oh, okay. so I'm like yes <laughs> rain rain hard <laughs> <laughs> but um, when you came down to sit down you said that you recognized me so yes. it's a bit it's a bit irrelevant but I'll just fit in when the couple of times I've met you has been when there's been a certain milestone in my career as a DJ. Like when I first started DJ and I joined the Sony Street team, you walked into the building. When I had my first ever DJ set, you was performing. So now I'm seeing you now, hopefully I'll win the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would be amazing. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> so what have you got planned for the rest of the year for 2014? Um, well, let's see. Um, I have, I'm finishing up, well, I'm just releasing uh, what I want. That's what's mm. going to be, it's going to be released soon, very soon. And I'm going to finish, I've, I've been recording two albums simultaneously, um, which sounds, sounds like a lot larger than, than, than <laughs> what it is actually. It's just that I've been recording a lot and I have a very specific vision for both Billy, which is the album, What I Want Will Be On, as well as Cymatica, which is the album to follow. And a lot of my fans have been telling them about Cymatica. It's a very different sound. So I've been recording, and then when one song, you know, sounds mm. like this, then it goes on this project. When it sounds like that, it goes on that project. So I've been recording them both at the same time. So uh-huh. hopefully um, hopefully, I'll be able to release those pretty uh, pretty close together instead of, say, five years apart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As, as it's been but, um, that and then I've also been writing novels mm. um, oh, okay so I'm actually like in revisions like with my my literary agent so mm. it's we're, we're we're still you know they're still being created Crazy. right now and it's like sci-fi sci-fi okay. fantasy and speculative fiction and stuff so you're into sci-fi that's my other love okay I didn't know yeah that. yeah like I love I love books mm. um, and I love science fiction I love fantasy I, I love I love anything really i mean i was the kid who was reading the cereal box <laughs> you know it's just like give me something to read the so shampoo bottle really in the shower like. so you've always been really creative <laughs> yes i love me yeah i love to create i okay. love to create okay now you mentioned you're going to take a different direction because when i think of amory and amory's sound i think of that kind of dc go-go music type of sound so will this other direction be something completely different well you know, for mm. for what I want, it definitely has. I would say yeah, the signature me, album. right? And then you know, the rest of uh, Billy, the album, it's mm. kind of like has that hip hop stuff in there, but it also has a lot of that electronic stuff that I love. Okay. Not, I wouldn't say it's not it's not dance music. I, I should more say uh, that eighties new wave. That's that would be more I think specific um, when, with the sound with hip hop, and it's kind of like what I did with because I love it, mm. um, and mixing those two together, and then Cymatica. Honestly, it's it's harder for me to categorize the sound because um, it's just heavy and it's 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 heavy and big, very cinematic. Yeah. That's the few okay. people I've played songs before. They said it sounds very like cinematic. The, the sounds like when you go into a movie theater and you hear the score, it's like it sounds very heavy. And I did a lot of co-production with that, and so because I wanted that that feel, mm-hmm. so that is very different. Okay, yeah. definitely want to look out for that one. Yeah, definitely. so I'm excited about that. <laughs> now, I don't want to hold you any longer. I know you got a jam pack today. Well, it's I'm always gonna... great to see you. Oh, right, thank you. holding me up. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you one last question. As we are community station, we have a lot of other coming singers, songwriters, rappers. What advice could you give them based on your own things which you've experienced? Um, well, run into you because that seems to have worked for me. <laughs> 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 no, um... To be persistent, you know, and really believe in what you are doing, 
Mm-hmm. You know, um, if you're a singer songwriter, definitely don't be afraid to work with other people and to learn, but to also also stick with what you're doing. I think that a lot of times, you know, if you write. Um, Especially if you're female, you mm. know, because it is a male dominated business, you, you can meet a lot of people who are like, why don't I'll just sing, <laughs> just stand there, look cute and just sing the song. Yeah. And, you know, don't really go for that. You know, if you, if you have a voice and you have something to say, do that, you know, because that's what you're here for. You know, that, if that's that's your passion. Then then do that. And um, there's no one way to get into the business. You can either meet an executive, you can meet a producer, you can meet people by writing songs for other artists first. There's no one way just stick to doing what you love be passionate about it be consistent with it don't just be like oh i really want to do it and let it just be a dream put action behind it and don't give up because a lot of the people whenever they're successful in anything it's just the people who never stopped and never gave up okay well, that has been a marie this is on smooth fuego tv new star radio 98.7 fm would you like to tell them all your different social networks your twitter facebook oh, sure, website yes. everything and then set a release date of your single and then we'll play that next sure um I, you can find me on twitter at it's a marie you know i have two eyes in my name now um well, actually it's been that way for like five years but it's still <laughs> new to some people uh as also um my tumblr it's a marie dot tumblr dot tumblr dot com i think that's how it goes right it's a marie and then my instagram is also it's a marie okay like yes. to introduce and your single amory.com you can find all that information and here's my latest what i want